All right, how you go? How you doing again, uh, YouTube fans and bus fans? Thought I'd give you an underhood tour of my new bus. This is a uh, 2010 International CE, and uh, this is the uh, Max Force Seven, and I believe it's a variation of the Power Stroke that Ford uses or used to use. They they have their own engine now, but I uh, thought I'd give you a brief underhood tour of what is what, and uh, here is the air filter assembly. An alternator and the uh, turbos live up here there's a pair of them there's a small one for low speed boost and then uh, after the RPMs come up the bigger one takes over and provides boost so it's supposed to cut back on lag and uh, another interesting thing is that this is a high pressure common rail system which means it has automotive gasoline automotive style injectors where the old buses it was a purely mechanical injector meaning when the engine timing was at a certain point the injectors would squirt and that's all there was to it this one is completely controlled and they can electronically controlled in the injectors the uh, time the duration and the timing of the squirt is controlled uh, by the computer and I cannot speak this morning so that means you get better performance better fuel mileage much cleaner emissions so uh, they run they run better in the, when it's cold you know, until they reached the old buses would smoke and clatter real bad and couldn't even drive them until they'd run a while. Anyway, the main thing is it's much cleaner. And on this side we have the the brains of the operation, the ECU that controls all the engine operations. And this one has an external air pump where uh, the DTs 466 the six cylinders it was built internally and this is external like they did back in the day so I don't know I guess you I mean, it's easier to service and it's an enormous unit though isn't it here's your uh, coolant reservoir really see it very easily here's your ad line you don't have to worry about it till it gets down to there oil dipstick transmission dipstick heater valve cutoffs but it's a uh, jam-packed isn't it Looking forward to driving this. I've never driven one of these diesel V8s. Be interesting to see how they do. There's your power steering reservoir, power steering rack, your unit, and the steering column goes all the way up there. There's a front brake assembly. Anyway, it's going to be interesting to see. Thought you guys might want to see what goes on under the hood of one of these things. And I'll catch you later. Uh, if you have any comments or questions or anything like that, leave me a comment. Click like if you like it, and uh, please subscribe, and I'll talk to you later.